Welcome to Good Food and Tours Jamaica. Now let's make some delicious jerk chicken that falls off the bone, succulent, delicious, well seasoned. And we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We'll be par cooking it in the oven first and then grilling it afterwards. And it's still going to be so delicious. So stay tuned. Let's do this. The first step is cleaning and washing the protein, the chicken. My mom is going to go through and pick off any feathers that wasn't plucked off because nobody wants to eat the chicken and be taking out feathers out of their mouth, right? Uh-uh. And the water that she's using to wash the chicken right now, it has a little bit of vinegar in there. You know Jamaicans love wash them chicken with a little bit of acid, whether lime, lemon juice or vinegar. <laughs> and we always have to rinse the chicken a couple times well. We throw off the water and rinse it again with some more water. And then we're going to stab up the chicken. <laughs> wait, 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 no. This is, it sounds a little bit violent, but we are going to pierce the chicken that the seasoning can go inside the chicken and just marinate and everything can be flavorful, you know? You want the chicken to have flavor deep inside. So this is why my mom always goes in and just gently pierce the chicken. <laughs> Now it's time to season the chicken. She adds some black pepper, some chicken seasoning, anyone that you like. Some jerk seasoning. Of course, you know it's Walker's Wood, one of the best jerk seasoning on the market. And if you want it spicy, you add a lot. If you don't want it spicy, don't add too much. This thing is powerful. She adds some thyme. Some pimento leaf because you know it's jerk chicken. Pimento half a cup in it. She mash up some garlic. This is an outside cooking experience. No fancy chopping board, you know. She throws in the garlic. And then she's just going to smash up some scallion. She throws in the scallion now and then she's going to go in and just rub it up in there. Get that seasoning in there, you know? It's jerk chicken. It's supposed to be flavorful. It's Jamaican food. It's well seasoned. You know? Don't be afraid. She adds some salt because you know salt has to be in everything that you cook. <laughs> And you just continue to just rub that in. You see all little parts that she pierced? She's just going to push the seasoning right in there. Piercing the chicken and then pushing the seasoning down in it is a good method for quick marination. So when you don't have enough time, this works wonders. You can do this and let the chicken marinate for an hour and it comes out good the chicken comes out flavorful so after my mom done rub up the chicken we're going to allow this to sit and marinate for at least four hours and trust me even if you don't have four hours one hour is good before cooking Yeah. 
yes right now we're going to par cook the chicken in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit before putting it in the jerk pan to grill or to jerk so my mom seasoned one set of chicken and then this set of chicken was seasoned by my grandma so that is why it looks a little bit different but it's still same jerk chicken <laughs> all right and all of that liquid that was left over from the seasoning bowl we're going to take it and just pour it all over the chicken then we take some foil paper and cover the chicken really good we want to ensure that none of the steam escape but rather it's going to be used to coat the chicken deep down on the inside all of that steam is just going to penetrate the chicken inside yaman yeah, So while the chicken is in the oven doing its thing, we will be working on our jerk pan, the grill, getting that fire started. We are using coal and you know it's always best to use pimento wood, but we are using what we have today. It's very important to allow all the coal or wood to catch properly before putting your chicken on it and also you want the jerk pan to heat up a little bit that it can sterilize the grill you know you want it hot and if you could just smell all of that steam coming off of the chicken right now oh my gosh it smell so good already so now the grill is hot so it's now time to just put this chicken on it's important to note that because the chicken was par cooked in the oven it will not take a long time now to be completely cooked on the grill so we are finishing it off on the grill to get that smoky flavor that jerk chicken is supposed to have and we also want some char to give that nice texture that jerk chicken has on the outside so we didn't have any pimento wood but that's okay we do have pimento leaves so to get that pimento taste into the chicken we are going to put some pimento leaf right on top of the chicken some gonna fall off right into the fire and then it's going to create that nice pimento smell give the chicken that nice pimento taste and it's going to be nice like nice 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 jerk chicken as if we use the pimento wood so we we'll close that down and just let it do its thing and then after like five or six minutes you run go check the chicken because you know want chicken to burn up you know and you check and see if it needs to be turned if no char mm -mm, you need to sit down a little bit more on that side and then you come back in the next five minutes and just flip it over because you do not want it to burn on one side you need to always rotate and rotate to ensure that the chicken jerk evenly and one side no bun up and then the next side no bun up <laughs> you know want every side bun up <laughs> you want it to just jerk perfectly right now we have a situation in the kitchen where we call it too much chefs in the kitchen my grandma believed that because the jerk chicken was par cooked in the oven it's ready to come off the grill it had enough it have enough char off the grill so it must come off now but me and my mommy now believe that even though it was par cooked it still needs some more time it still needs some more char it still need to jerk a little bit more on the grill and this is where you have three generations <laughs> completely trying to get their point across in the kitchen and it feels like a top chef 
episode where you have leaders trying to say, oh no, this is it, this is it, this is it. Until my grandma grabs the fork, <laughs> she's like, <laughs> Give me. I'm going to show you up here. You ready, man? Please. There is so much things going on right now. So while my grandma is trying to get the chicken off the grill, my mom is there stealing <laughs> a piece of meat off, off, the, off the grill. And I can't complain because she stole peace and she gave me peace. So let's try this right now. Me and my mom somehow persuaded my grandma, which is her mother, to let some of the leg quarters stay on the grill a little bit more to get some more color and jerk. But grandma only let them stay on the grill for like 30 seconds. So I think that did something, right? <laughs> Yo, this place is full up of jokes. This jerk chicken looks really good. I do not know whose side are you on. Are you on team grandma, which is take off the chicken right now off the grill? Or are you on team me and my mom, which is like, no, the chicken could have stayed a little bit more on the grill. <laughs> All me know, good team effort. The chicken looks delicious. So no, grandma, you know, grandma going to chop up the chicken because, hey, you cannot have jerk chicken without the whole chopping experience. <laughs> I will soon taste this and let you know how it tastes. But in the meanwhile, go on, enjoy some chicken chopping up. Let you feel like you're in front of the jerk pan man. Okay, let's try this are you ready mm, it was so good like come on come on this was two generations coming together in the kitchen and cooking and it was completely delicious you got that nice jerk taste in the center straight down from the center up to the top of the chicken or the skin it wasn't overcooked neither was it dried neither was it undercooked it was just perfect inside Big thanks to grandma who's always cooking up a storm and ensuring that her generation is well fed. And big thanks to my mom who has taught me so much. And a big thank you to you. Yes, you who's watching. Thank you for always watching my content and supporting me. Please like, comment, and share. The more you like my videos, it's the more YouTube push them out. And that is one of the easiest ways you can support me. Thank you so much. Bye. See you next time.